Whatever it takes, get there. Down, 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 down. On July 16th, 2021, I took on my biggest challenge yet. Known as the hardest physical, mental, and emotional training in the world for civilians. Kokoro, ran by SealFit. Now this is a 53 hour training ran by elite former and current Navy SEALs, where they are taking you through intense trainings, intense evolutions, what they call it, every single step of the way. There's absolutely no sleep throughout these 53 hours. And we're doing things such as surf torture, 18 mile rucks up mountains, 4,000 foot elevation with weighted packs on our back, holding weapons with our boots on and training the entire time in over 100 degrees. This is what it entailed. Now, why did I decide to step into this? Why did I decide to take on this crucible that only had a 30% completion rate? I did this because I wanted to see what I was capable of. I wanted to put my mind, what I feel, what I say to its absolute limit. You see, I spent the last seven years in massive levels of self-discipline, self-discipline with the body, self-discipline with the mind, self-discipline with my business, just completely training over and over and over again, allowing myself to step into this next version of myself. And I saw Kokoro as the final cap to these last seven years, as the final cap that's going to allow me to evolve into the next level of my life. You see, with Kokoro, when you join, you have to come with a why. And my why for Koro was freedom, joy, and happiness. Seven years ago is when I decided to stop drinking. Seven years ago is when I decided to stop partying. Seven years ago is when I put everything, all fun, enjoyment, everything to the side. And I decided to just get focused and just become very disciplined and very strict with my life. Seven years ago. And this has been an incredible journey over the last seven years. The businesses I've grown, the people I've met, the friends I've made, the connections I've made, the relationships I've built, the money that I've made, the places I've traveled to, it's been amazing. But I knew in order for me to have it all, in order for me to truly take my life to the next level, to step into this next version of myself, Kokoro was this final cap. And I knew about Kokoro five, six years ago, but I wasn't ready for it yet. Then I was meditating one day and I asked myself, what's that next big challenge for myself? And this is what came up. And it was beautiful because there were so many lessons that were learned at Kokoro. Lessons for having the support, being extremely present, being there in the moment, allowing yourself to actually have fun throughout the chaos. I remember at one point, my feet were on fucking fire. They were burning. My toes are, are all torn up. My feet are all torn up on fire. And we were doing a 17 mile walk, a 17 mile ruck. We had our way down. We were going in and out of the water, surf torture on the beach, going up and down stairs. Like it was intense. My feet were on fire. And the only way I got through it was me allowing myself to actually have fun during it as well. At one point I was singing, my feet are on fire. And it was legit the worst pain I've ever been in in my life. But being able to push through it, by myself, with the support of my teammates, being able to talk to them and have the encouraging words going back and forth and having this level of communication and being extremely present with it. Because if I look to the next day, and this is what happens at Kokoro, it teaches you to be present. Because when that sun goes down that first night, if you're thinking about, I'm gonna have to see another sunset, I'm gonna have to work out a whole nother day after the sunset, and you're thinking about it being over, thinking about Sunday afternoon in my case, you wouldn't make it. You need to allow yourself to be present. When we're climbing up Mount Palomore, 4,000 foot elevation, 18 miles, seven hours that we did this for with the weight on our backs and the weapons in our hands and our boots on and our feet all torn up, get done. We have blisters all over our feet, which we had to pop on the bus. As you're doing this, the only way to complete it is to be present, is to be in that moment. You start to hallucinate. We started to, I started to hallucinate. My teammates started to hallucinate because you just see the same image over and over and over again. But you need to be present with yourself. You need to talk to yourself. During this time, I was telling myself, I was like, George, you're doing great, buddy. You're doing amazing. Just take another step. Just take another step. Just take another step. Because there were times where my mind went, why the fuck are you doing this? 
And there are times in your life where your mind may go, why are you doing this right now? Stop doing it. And you might give up in your life. There may be businesses that you tried to start that you've given up on, relationships, workouts, trainings, anything that you've started and given up on. But allow yourself to encourage yourself and have positive self-talk while being extremely present. Don't look to, I could be doing this instead, or I could be doing that instead. There were four people that dropped as we were walking up Mount Polymore. Nine people dropped in my training. 42 people signed up, 25 people showed up, and only 16 people secured and finished it. Oh yeah, it's pretty intense. It's, uh, and again, different coaches are given different commands, and it's all by design. It's just Nine dropped, and four dropped on this walk. Why? Because they weren't feeding themselves what was required. There was a, there was a, uh, a van back behind us with food in it, with coffee in it, with everything in it. And we could sit down and hang out in the van and give up. Or we could have kept on walking. And that's what I decided to do. Keep on walking. And this is what you need to do in life. Just keep on stepping. Keep moving forward. Allow yourself to be present. Have that positive self-talk. Feed yourself the positivity that you need. And have fun with it. And enjoy it. If not, you're going to find yourself running in circles and creating the chaos for yourself that's unnecessary. So 53 hours and after just having the support of the teammates and just being extremely vulnerable and allowing yourself to fully submit to this next level. Kokoro stands for blending the heart, mind, and soul. And this is what happens. You defy your body. You defy what you think. I've got a lot of messages as leading up to Kokoro and they're just like, listen to your body. Listen to your mind. But that's the complete opposite of what you do at Kokoro. Because my body and my mind, if I listened to that in the beginning, I would have given up. I would have stopped. I would have quit. My hands, you can't really tell now because they're a little healed up. But we had Murph, which is a, a one, you do one mile run, you do 100 pull-ups, 200 push-ups, 300 sit-ups, and another mile run with your weighted backpack and everything. My hands got torn up. I broke my record. 38 minutes and 51 seconds doing Murph. And this was halfway through the day. My hands were destroyed. Blood everywhere. Blood blisters. You can see here, these were all blood blisters. Popped, exploded, ripped up. My calluses ripped off my hands completely. But I just kept going. If I listened to my body, if I let the physical stop me, then I would have easily stopped. Defy all limits. Defy who you are, defy what you think and allow yourself to expand into the next version of you because this is what we're after. And the only way that you can do this is through challenging yourself and taking on these challenges and taking on these evolutions and taking on these things. As soon as we got there, we got started, we got blasted with hoses, we got blasted with doing our workouts. Three people dropped within the first, within the first 20 minutes. Runs, hoses, ice baths. Three people dropped in the first 20 minutes because their minds weren't ready. And then just a continue, continual beat down the entire time. 100 degree weather, sun blazing on us, absolutely no shade out in the dirt, rolling around, jumping around, going on our backs, on our stomachs, doing push-ups, pushing our bodies past exertion. In the very first hour, your body is gone. Your body is gone. Running up mountains, we had people dropping out. We had people dropping off. We had people passing out the entire time. Some getting back up and continuing. But you need to allow yourself to step through and step past so you, what you believe you're capable of and who you believe that you are. Because there's a version of you so much stronger than the version of you right now. Smiling, laughing. I got my hat on because this is a seal fit Kokoro. This is, one I, this is what I secured. And just the challenges throughout. The surf torture. Lying in the water. Jumping in the water. Knowing that you're going to have to take this on. Going up and down stairs. Thousands of stairs that we walked up and down. Huge stairs off the beach onto the top of the, onto the, top of the piers. Going in the water, swimming in the water, having to float. There was a couple people who almost quit during that session. Just having to, to keep yourself afloat the entire time for an hour or so, more. We don't even know how long it was because it just defies time. But three days of this, 53 hours of this, will turn you into a version of yourself that you don't know that you're capable of. And this is what it did for me. And again, the lessons that I learned, what I'm taking away from it, the support that I was given, the support that was received. Give support. Give support. Be present. Breathe. Breathing is extremely important. Deep breaths to allow yourself to remain present. Positive self-talk. And have fun throughout the entire time. Because if you're not having fun, you're going to think it's way too serious. Your mind's going to quit and give up on you.
have fun and enjoy. Kokoro 57 has been secured by me and my 15 teammates. And it was a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful thing. And if this is something that you're looking into, they have Kokoro, which is 53 hours. They have the 20XS, which is six hours. They have the 20X, I don't know what the 20X maybe. It's 12 hours. And the 20XL, which is 24 hours. Seal Fit is who this is run by. Give it a go. Check it out. And if you're ready to expand your mind and step into that next version of yourself, entrepreneurship, looking to really evolve, then you can sign up for a 15-minute strategy call, which I'm running. 15-minute enrollment calls, which I have right now. We'll see if you're a good fit for a power and purpose accelerator where we have other men who are stepping into elite versions of themselves, building their, their minds, building their businesses, being able to quit their jobs, and really living their lives on their terms. But this is only for men who are truly ready and truly ready to go and make things happen. If this isn't you, then this place isn't for you. And you can also click down in the comments below where we have our four barriers training, which is a four-part video series that you can watch to actually get clear on what's truly holding you back right now in your life to take things to the next level. And obviously, we have other videos on here that you can watch as well. My name is George Warrior IV, and I'm out. Let's get it done.